Complete training is available at itdvds.com. In order to use Windows Server Update Services 3.0 with Service Pack 2, our clients have to meet certain requirements, and those requirements completely revolve around the operating system and the Service Pack level of the operating system. Now, Windows Server Update Services 3.0 with Service Pack 2 now supports Windows 7 and Windows 2008 R2 clients. It also supports Windows Server 2008 clients, Windows Vista, Windows Server 2003, any edition, Windows XP Professional with Service Pack 2 and later, Windows 2000 Professional with Service Pack 4, Windows 2000 Server with Service Pack 3, and also Windows 2000 Advanced Server with Service Pack 3. So you can see it goes back pretty far. Most of our Windows 2000 clients, if we have any, are at least up to Service Pack 4 by now. And the good news is we don't have to install anything on like a Windows 2000 machine as long as it has Service Pack 4 or uh, Service Pack 3 with Server Edition to get it to work with our Windows Server Update services. It's already ready to go if it meets the Service Pack level. And if we have a Windows 2000 native domain, then the group policy settings that we need to configure our clients are still there. So uh, they're missing a couple options, but all the main configuration settings that we would use with group policy are there. So we don't have to upgrade our domain in order to get it to work with newer clients. So these are the cl client requirements and it's not going to work with older versions than we have listed. So Windows Server Update Services is not going to work with Windows NT or like Windows 98 or Windows ME or anything like that.